Chris Hill here for Cinema Assassin. This week we're going to be reviewing Grave Encounters. Now, Grave Encounters is the latest in uh, the found footage subgenre of horror films. Most notably, you've probably heard of Blair Witch or Paranormal Activity. Blair Witch takes place in the woods, Paranormal Activity, House in San Diego. What can they do to be different? Sane Asylum. Who doesn't want to go uh, spend the night in an insane asylum? Uh, it's loosely, uh, it looks like it's loosely based on uh, that big douchebag from uh, Travel Channel, Zach Baggins. Uh, filling in in the Zach Baggins role would be Lance Preston. Now, while Zach is an extreme believer in the paranormal, Lance Preston, not so much. Uh, he really just wants to uh, film the show. Has not really a, a believer at all. First half of the film really a more behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to put on a show with some laughs. The second half really gets into the meat of the ghost story when they're actually locked in overnight into the, into the insane asylum. Uh, the only downfall with the film, and it, it's a big one, not a lot of scares. Atmosphere is great. Uh, the first time directors, the Vicious Brothers out of Canada put this together, had a very minimal budget and you would have no idea. They get the mood right, it is creepy, but overall, you're not going to be overly scared. If you want to be able to sit back and enjoy a film uh, that's not overly frightening, but is uh, entertaining, I recommend it. If you're looking for the big scare, you might want to skip this one.